Welcome back to our series on the rock cycle. In this video, we'll be looking at igneous rocks and in particular, how they fit into the rock cycle. We'll be looking at the processes involved in their formation and the controls in particular on texture. So let's start this video with a feel for texture. Igneous rocks are either intrusive plutonic rocks or extrusive volcanic rocks. The plutonic igneous rocks have a coarse interlocking texture and you can see that these minerals are easily seen with your naked eye. Now these minerals would have cooled over thousands to millions of years so they've had a long time to form these large crystal sizes that you can see. Whereas when we compare that to a volcanic extrusive igneous rock it has a very fine texture. The minerals are still interlocking however you can't see them with your naked eye. And this is because they cool very quickly on the surface, so they just don't have enough time to grow as large. The really cool thing with this sample is you can see its flow patterns. So this was a basaltic lava flow, and you can even see it has a slightly vesicular texture. And by that I mean there are little vesicles where the gas bubbles would have been trying to escape as it cooled. So in summary, Igneous rock textures are controlled by the rate at which it's cooled from the molten rock. Extrusive igneous rocks cool fast, so they have a very fine crystal texture. Conversely, intrusive igneous rocks cool much slower, so they've got time to grow much larger crystals. In our next video, we'll be talking about the composition of igneous rocks and the processes that control this.